Hey gamers, so today we're gonna be doing something a little different, but I'm kind of excited about it. Actually, that's a lie, I'm really excited. You are going to be getting ready with me. And before we start the video, I just wanna give a major shout out to Function of Beauty. As we know, everybody's hair is different. There's one size fits all for clothes, but there isn't for shampoos and conditioners. With Function of Beauty, you can customize your own shampoo and conditioner with your hair type, your hair color, your length, and also look at how cute it is. And and you can put your name on it. Mine says, Function of Gabs. And you know I've been using this because look at the bottles. <laughs> it smells so good too. You can even customize the smell and the color. And before you order these, you get to do a two minute quiz. It's super quick and it's just talking about like your hair type, your hair color, frizziness, and you get to customize them and add your name. Pretty sick. And I love this brand because they are vegan, they are cruelty free, and there are no toxins. So there's nothing to destroy your hair or this planet. And Function of Beauty actually has different products too. You can also order a leave-in hair mask. This is not the hair mask, this is the conditioner. But I ordered one and it smelled so good. If you use my link down below, you get 20% off your first order. All right. No more chit chatting, let's get right into the video! The first thing you need to do before you start your makeup is always primer up because you don't want your pores to fill. So I don't think that they actually reduce pores. I think they just reduce the look of pores. That's what my dermatologist told me. Not to get scientific. I really like this because it doesn't make your skin oily. It's like a clay sort of texture. It just, it's so like satin. Silky smoothie snap. My eyebrows look like that. So now we're done with the primer. We are going to start with the base of our makeup. So normally I don't use foundation because I'm just... So I'm just using a tiny bit of concealer to go in some certain areas that I need. Most of the time I just needed to cover up like some red spots, but currently my skin is clear. I do go through times in the year where school stresses me out and I have like the worst acne. So yeah, I even have like a pimple right there. I think I have one like right there. I also don't really want to cover my freckles, but sometimes I got to. I like to go in this crevice of my nose because sometimes it gets a little darker or red. How do I forget to do my chin? All right, that's good. I'm gonna go wet my BB blender and I'll be right back. Oh, I didn't see there. All right, let's blend. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some setting power to give me some like different like definition and tones just to make it a bit more fancy. Like, you know guys, the vibes. I don't normally do that, but also I notice when I come out of the shower, my hair gets poofier and then as the day goes by, it kind of goes back down. <clears throat> I thought there was gonna be a burp there, sorry. Sorry everybody. So the next thing we're doing, we're going to powder. Just to kind of cover up anything else that is uneven on our face. So right here, I'm gonna put on some powder just to kind of even out my whole face. I remember I bought this and it's like a tad darker than my actual skin tone. So it kind of adds some depth to my face and I kind of like, look at that. May not see a difference, but I do. Eyebrows are going up. This is so off-centered, but that's okay. Wow, why did I put so much on my forehead? <gasps> Guys, this is like crustiness right there. I'm gonna put some like a little oilier primer on that one spot. It's just out of control, guys. Hopefully it works. I've done this before. There we go. Now it's not for freaking crusty. And if you're wondering why I'm in my jammies, is because we are going to change after we do the makeup. It's just a logical way to do things. When you're doing your makeup, you don't have to be in your clothes because your makeup is gonna stain your clothes. Like, wow, that's... That's nice. The next thing we're gonna do is grab some setting powder. That's what it's called, setting powder, right? Boom! This cute little makeup pad. Under the eye, whoa. Look like I know what I'm doing. Cool. Wow, girl. Next, we are going to do the blush. That looks okay. I think. What I normally use for blush is surprising. I actually use an eyeshadow palette. And I actually use an eyeshadow palette for my lips sometimes too because there are so many different colors in an eyeshadow palette. It's just, why not use it? I'm gonna be using this darker pink. Give my cheeks that rosy look. And I don't put it just in one spot here. I kind of put it all over, like this whole area right here, but like mostly here. Just it doesn't look too bad. I don't wanna look like I have a sunburn, you know? And a cute little thing I do is I put blush on like tip of my nose and then like even it out with some highlighter and I really like doing that my brother says I look like Rudolph but he hasn't trusted the process yet he saw me doing my makeup one time and he was like bruh why are you putting red on your nose and I was like trust the process man 
Next thing we are going to do is shape the nose. I like to highlight right here. I have these like little dips in my nose and I kind of like to highlight them. So I put a little bit of brown in that area and then I blend it out. And then I'll put some here just so I can make it look like my nose is more like that, more curvy. It's a cute look. It makes your face less pale too. Most of the things I'm doing is like just for the video, like the setting powder and the contour, like that's kind of rare. Like you guys, this is a VIP right here. Nice. Next thing we do is grab some blush. And now that we have the contour, I'm just gonna tone it out with some blush from the same palette. Kind of put it on the top. So your nose is gonna look like on the top of this, of the end of your nose. So your nose might look a little red at the beginning. Put it underneath and then grab some highlighter. For me, I like this gold highlighter because kind of nice. Because I feel like a white highlighter makes me a little bit more pale. And so with this, it's more of like a softy glow effect. You gotta know the, the terms and the vocabulary. Like, put that on the tippy nose. And I don't normally go like all the way down the bridge of my nose. I just go in the corner where it like meets. And you know what? For the sake of the video, we're gonna put it in the corner of our eyes because that's gonna make it pop. Cool, that's nice. Kind of leveled out with the blush. But you know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> and now we are going to curl our eyelashes and do the mascara. I have my trusty eyelash curler. What the heck? They're already curled. <laughs> Normally I come out of the shower, my eyelashes are like, <sighs> so I have to curl them. I don't know why they stayed. I literally washed all the mascara off in the shower. Before you ask, no, I don't do anything to my eyebrows because I just don't want to make them look any darker than they are. Because <laughs> then I'd look crazy. Ow. Bro, what you doing, fam? Before the boys in the comments asks if it hurts. No, it doesn't. It's just like curling your hair. Does curling your hair hurt? No. Now we're gonna get our trusty mascara. My lashes are like kind of annoying sometimes. Mascara. Oh. So I actually got this mascara from a secret Santa present and it's really cheap, but it's so good and I don't know why. It just. It just looks good, bruh. It's so hard to do in the camera. Why do I hold it like that? Look at the difference. Actually, there's no difference. Dude, that's like nicer. It just makes you look more feminine. Feminine. Wow, that is the pose of the day, everybody. Also, you should never use too much mascara because you don't want to clump up your lashes, bro. Look at that, guys. All right, so now, look at that. Look at the difference. Like, if I'm leaving the house, I can't leave without mascara. I can leave without anything else, but I have to curl my lashes, or else I'll be looking like a boy. Now, for the final step, I'm gonna be grabbing an eyebrow pencil, but we're not gonna use it for our eyebrows, ladies and gents. We're gonna use it for our under eye as eyeliner for some pop. Actually, this is not the last step. I kind of lied to you there. It doesn't have to be black. It just has to be like a really dark brown. And I just like wing it out at the end. It's over for you, dog. <laughs> I just poked myself in the eyebrow. And if you're feeling really confident, I would put it on my top lash too, but you can't really see it because your eyelashes are kind of thick. So, with thick boys. Cool. See, now it like pops so much more. Okay, and for the last step, we're gonna be using the exact same palette that we used for the blush and the eyeliner. Now we're gonna put it on our lips. I'm just gonna use the same color that I did for the blush and apply it. I feel like this gives my face more color if your face is super pale. Adding like a bit of pink on your lips, it's like a darker pink. It's really nice. You can overline it if you want. Blot. So that is the makeup step of my morning routine. Now we're gonna get dressed and I'll be right back to end this video. <sighs> We are dressed and ready to take on the day at home. So by getting dressed, I basically just meant like putting on a shirt. I was already in my sweatpants. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a fun video. That was different. I think I might do some more of those, like my night routine or something, if you guys want. Thank you so much for staying for the duration of the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and get your function of beauty. Like, there's no reason not to get it. It just caters towards every single hair type. You're gonna be super satisfied with your results. I know I am. And I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys the next time I post. Peace!